Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord, and welcome to part 27 in the Night in the Woods series. If you're joining us from last time, you'll remember we did some research in the library here, and there seems to be a stork. Uh, just a second. What is... Shh. Is that Miss Quelcy? Oh, wow. Haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting. Of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this to this. And sit on someone else's desk. Cool. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones. And Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, um, <laughs> it's a dumb question. She's from some big city, right? Yeah. How'd she even end up here? Who knows? Ahem. <clears throat> Letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home. When they ask about life, out here in the sticks, it's you, I worry, at the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Ellipses. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Poor Miss Quelcy. Is that legal? What? Talking about details about students like that. She didn't name names. Oh, uh, she kind of did. Yes! Yes, she did! Okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. At two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away, Fisherman Jones. Uh, <clears throat> hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. <clears throat> tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck, and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Ellipsis. <clears throat> okay, that's one poem. Uh, the next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark, must think it would be a lark. To be a fisherman like me but what do you know, Amphibie? <clears throat> Ellipsis, son. That's it. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried about what fish thinks. He definitely talks to the actual fish. Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma and Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, me. Uh, you know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorkly short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> she's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer. 
but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy, billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs. Boy, billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians, waiting for us to die, lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app, replace my dreams of a house and a yard, with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silicon city to the ground. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Damn. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. That's pretty impressive. I don't even know what that word means. I, I, I would expect that, May. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write hers? Nice work, Smelmer. <laughs> I don't like that nickname. What are you two... Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Poets of Possum Springs. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, Bea. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. Uh-huh, 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 anyone? I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow! I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost, unlike the Ghostbusters. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So, it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Ugh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up, you know? Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about, Duder? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Ellipsis. Sure is. The Historical Society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. <laughs> anyway, I'm in for the historical society and crimes. Awesome. Uh, so what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. Oh? I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is going to be awesome!
I promise. Also, I'm scared to death. <laughs> Lots of uh, emotions there. A melange, if you will, of emotions. Alrighty. I hate that frame tearing. Ugh. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The erg. Yuppers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. We are. Just a bump. You two, always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart assness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So, we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay. I'm 20. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. The hell you gotta say, Dadders? Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Yoink! I love that jump. That jump makes me feel powerful. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Maybe. Ah, uh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. What, spooky or things of granddad? Mm, someone gave me a clue about this safe. Should be opened by something that's on the floor that it's on? Near the floor it's on? No? Hmm, gotta be a way to open up the safe. Is something I think about constantly. Hey! When you jump three times in a row, she does like a super jump at the end. I just now figured that out. I'm probably nearing the end of this game and I just figured something out. So is there like something over here? Boink! Uh? Books? No? Nothing. Nothing at all. That's a little frustrating. Uh, how about down here? Dad? No? Nothing? Clock? Yes? No? Anything? Nope. Alright. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go upstairs then. So we can see what we're going to do tomorrow, eh? Let's try and check out what our laptop says. Hello. Oh man, everyone's saying everything about everyone. Hi, Sharkle. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. IDK. Thanks, Bia. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. <laughs> oh, in that case, uh, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this huge favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. <laughs> Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but... Old stuff that just got torn up seems like Ghost Central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, right? And then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would actually be pee scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed, duder. <laughs> Catch you later. Hey, May. Listen, let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a mat, and it's a pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. 
Tips hat. <laughs> Fantastic yums. I love you so much, Sharkle. Never let me go. All right. What are we looking at right now? I think we're looking at about the time that we uh, end it. Now let's go to bed and see if we end in a dream sequence. Boink. All righty. All right. Let's do it to it. Are we going to get a dreamy scape, Lanty Poo? It looks like it might be loading something that's not just the, another daytime. Oh, and it is a spooky dream sequence again. All righty. So we're going to go ahead and leave it off right there. But hey, if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this is the Misanthropic Lord signing off. Have a good one, guys. Ooh, hi, piracy. Dear citizens! Oh, I pressed a button. I wasn't able to. So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless. But do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards. Don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. 